When I was thinking about what I wanted to do in the world, I knew I wanted to make it a better place. I also thought I, I wanted to help people. I think your identity and often like this whole thing about who are we as human beings, like having a visual impairment isn't all I am about. I am a person with aspirations, I'm a woman, I'm a, I'm a mother now, I'm, I, I, have, I have interests. My name is Nafisa Babu and I'm the Senior Advisor on Inclusive Education for Light for the World. I was born in South Africa, Cape Town, South Africa. My father's blind and from a young age he was asked or forced to leave his family um, to go to a special school for the blind in Cape Town. From experiencing that exclusion and isolation from his family and also seeing what kind of education the children who were blind at his school were receiving and how they felt about their place in society um, made him choose something different for me and my brother. He wanted us to be in a regular school with um, all the other children, not separated. Inclusive education is a means of providing quality education for all children. And you do this by identifying the barriers to learning. It's also about having children with and without disabilities learning together in the same classroom uh, where the teacher uses methods that uh, appeal to the different ways that they learn. Right? So it's about adapting things to the needs of the child so they can learn. You know, we are tackling really law, stigma and discrimination that is so deeply rooted in society. Because people see people with disabilities or children with disabilities as only needers of help and, and without value, um, that is why they are excluded. What we just saw now just reaffirms what I believe in, that inclusive education is the right approach. Even teachers with disabilities to teach in regular classrooms and have children with and without disabilities there, that they are not just competent, but they are providing more in edutaining uh, stimulation um, to children and inspiring them to learn more. If you invest in the first few years of a child's life, the first three years or five years or eight years, the, the return on investment is so significant. One, for every one dollar invested is a $17 return. Just in education, you are you're actually breaking that cycle of poverty. You are, making, you you are ensuring that people will have access to a decent livelihood. And when you have all children together, learning together, you create that sense of we all belong. We all belong and that's what we want. And I think that through inclusive education we can do this. And we have different abilities, everybody does. And if we see people like that, then we will really be able to improve the quality of education, the quality of life and of every person, right? Um, because it's, you, you, change, you change the lens through which we see the world. Mm -hmm.